While perusing the many perplexing sites we are yet to cover on our channel, we stumbled across something which could quite possibly be a massive clue – evidence left as to the method of construction of many ancient sites found all over Earth. Our channel has, for a long time, put forward the hypothesis that a highly advanced worldwide civilization once flourished here on our planet. We believe that many of the ancient sites which display unexplained architecture were left by this lost people, placed far within our distant past. And once one begins to investigate these ruins with this possibility in mind, you start to notice some compelling things regarding these amazing sites. For example, the metal clamps we have previously covered, often created using impressive mixes of alloys and somehow poured molten, could now be seen as earlier architectural examples less than the mortarless, mysteriously notched stonework, also found in similar areas all over the world, with the more precise and thus more impressive stonework seen as a later, more sophisticated method of construction. What's more, although virtually all ancient sites have been dated to the most convenient suspects within known taught history, there also exists the numerous caves and temples, hewn from the solid bedrocks, carved with such accuracy and vision, they elude recreation even by our modern-day technology. And while looking at an amazing rock-cut cave within the site of Mamalapuram, India, a site we are now convinced was left by this same civilization, a curious piece of evidence seemingly presented itself. Upon the roughly finished roof of this ancient cave is evidence left by the same technology used to not only cut the astonishingly huge Longyu Caves, but also the abandoned Langshan Quarry, both in China. This discovery, we believe, is only just the beginning of a realization that these telltale signatures are present at many other unexplained sites around the world. We have long stipulated that many of the ancient ruins claimed by our more modern-day ancestors are most likely not their actual creations. If the structure does date to this more recent age, they are usually found to be sitting upon the telltale remnants of a highly precise ancient foundation originally left by this elusive group. Who were these amazing people? When did they flourish here on Earth? What happened to them? Why did they never record how they created such wonders? Although it is easy for skeptics to argue that the caves and architecture were merely created through excruciating hard labor, any practical demonstration of this has eluded us for many centuries. Furthermore, Many of the extensive cave excavations found all over the world, presumably dating back to this bygone age, are all absent any waste, as if the machine tasked with creating these underground labyrinths turned stone to dust. And although the technology and or possible machinery tasked with the job has evaded modern archaeology to this point, it is clearly another piece of evidence which takes us one step closer to unraveling the true history of our planet. The Royal Kurgan – undoubtedly an astonishing, highly unusual ancient structure. One of many such structures found within the local area, yet the Royal Kurgan the most impressive by far. Found within eastern Crimea, this incredible building, predictably, like many other miraculous, possibly pre-cataclysmic as yet unexplained ruins, which we so often cover on our channel, not only possesses features strongly indicative of a culture far predating the current academically attested constructors, but this impressive structure, like the many of the other structural relics found throughout the world, is claimed as a mere tomb. We hypothesize this is due to their inexplicable nature, revered by our more recent ancestors, and as such, selected burial locations for rulers of these more modern, well-studied residents of the area. With the Royal Kurgan being no exception. According to academic study, it was apparently created with the sole purpose of being that of a tomb, constructed for the ruler of the Bosphoran Kingdom within the 5th century BC. We postulate, however, that these structures were merely reused as tombs, subsequently becoming locations of worship 
for these once powerful individuals. Our claim that the Kurgan far predates these technologically challenged, academically claimed cultures is also strongly supported by architectural evidence found elsewhere on Earth, sharing unmistakable, compelling characteristics with other well-known ancient structures we have previously covered, which we postulated, due to the great antiquity of the structures, were undoubtedly surviving relics of a now-lost pre-Diluvian civilization. It is unquestionably an enigmatic structure, with its most unusual and also recognizable feature being the mysterious, almost unique shape of its stonework. However, most intriguingly, this uniquely shaped stonework is a feature also found within the fortress of Nimrod, located upon the southern slopes of Mount Hermon, located an impressive 1,300 miles away. We find the chances of this extremely unusual type of masonry being made and subsequently used on these separate structures a mere coincidence highly unlikely. It is far more likely, regardless of the extreme distance between the structures, that they were, in fact, built by the same people, a group of highly capable constructors currently ignored by academia. We find it to be a far more likely logical hypothesis that this mysterious group built the Royal Kurgan for an as yet unexplained purpose using stone-shaping methods unique to them. Furthermore, as covered previously, just like Nimrod Fortress, located by New Earth Channel, there is yet another ruin built with these same easily identifiable blocks, found within the oldest foundations of the ancient ruins of Jerash in Jordan. This lost civilization's unique finish to their stonework, incorporated into each build, fortunately makes connecting these builds to the same constructors seemingly undeniable. And due to the fact that the fortress of Nimrod and Jerash alike feature this stonework at foundation level, officially recognized as the oldest portions of both sites, we can logically presume that the Royal Kurgan not only shares the same constructor, but also likely shares the same tremendous antiquity. What's more, due to the sheer size of some of the stones utilized within Nimrod, indicates that it is existing work, created using lost knowledge, thus built by a lost civilization. Who built the Royal Kurgan within eastern Crimea? The surviving foundation at Jerash in Jordan, or indeed the original structure found at Nimrod's castle? Were these structures built by the same, once highly capable, highly advanced ancient civilization? If not, why do they share such an unusual, unique style of stonework? What was the Royal Kurgan built for? When was it built? We find its enigmatic shape, construction technique, and indeed seemingly identical stone characteristics linking it to the other ruins of tremendous antiquity, each located thousands of miles apart. Highly compelling. India is a place littered with incredible ancient yet unexplained ruins. Intricate ancient carvings can be found dotting the cliff faces. Seemingly laser-cut caves hewn from enormous rocks, and perhaps the most impressive of its collection, the rock temples hewn straight from bedrock which can be found all over the country. We recently focused our attention on one of these sites in particular, perhaps the most impressive of these ancient temples. Known as Kailash, it is a structure drenched in sculpted animals and religious idols. Many others also exist, somehow carved straight out of stone hillsides. The accuracy in which these structures were carved, the refined finish achieved, has allowed these structures to evade explanation to this day. There is, in fact, another site within India, another temple, that, just like Kailash, was somehow hewn from a solid hillside. However, what is particularly interesting regarding this temple is that it was mysteriously abandoned, leaving the apparent different stages of its construction for all to see. Known as Vetivan Coil, 
It is located within Kalagumalai, a panchayat town in the South Indian state of Tamil Nadu. Intriguingly, upon the structure and the carved walls which it is now framed by is the same telltale chisel marks found at so many other sites around the world, an anomaly we have already covered in depth. However, what is particularly interesting regarding Veta Van Coil is the fact that these crude marks are also accompanied by the seemingly impossible perfect finished sculptures, which mystify all who peer at them to this day. It is a visual, chronological timeline cast in stone, possibly left by an as yet unknown people, using unexplained yet amazing artistic skills. The temple seemingly displays the methods used to carve it. The artists responsible crudely chiseled the design, presumably somehow from the mind's eye, then somehow professionally worked into the refined, astonishing art, which adorns so many of these ancient Indian structures. Who built Veta Van Coil? How did they achieve such perfection, with such hard stones, at such an early time in history? Is it, like academia would have you believe, a mere 1400 years old? Or is it a far more ancient structure, built using as yet unknown stone working techniques, used by an unknown group of artists? As research mounts surrounding such sites, the answers will inevitably be discovered. We often cover the as yet unexplained features that can be found within the construction of many of the ancient ruins all over the world. These seemingly impossible feats of ancient architecture, seen by all, yet perceived by an academia that would like you to believe they were completed a mere few thousand years ago. Yet any explanation as to how these tasks were indeed undertaken or completed remain absent. We strongly suspect that a vast portion of Earth's and indeed our own human history is being covered up, simply because those who wish to sell you the answers do not have them. It is far more profitable for those in the so-called know to be perceived as indeed all-knowing rather than to admit the patent fact they simply cannot explain these ancient structures. They do not know who built them, and most important of all, no idea when they were built. Countless museum artifacts also that, according to these same individuals, regardless of the obvious precision contained within, were created by individuals far less capable than we are today often absent or attached to illogical explanations as to their manufacture. These artifacts continue to be attributed to civilizations whose most advanced carving technologies were copper and stone chisels. We feel that many of these ancient artifacts, along with many impossible ancient megaliths found perfectly placed within ancient ruins all over the world are strong evidential factors to suggest that an ancient civilization once had at their disposal highly advanced precision machinery. One of the many interesting, perplexing ancient features are the ancient star holes, which have been discovered at a number of different ancient sites around the planet. Although places like Puma Punku or Giza's basalt plain possess precision drill holes, diving many feet into incredibly hard stone, these star holes are, as the title suggests, mysteriously created in the shape of stars. So far found within Massachusetts in the USA, and also within Volda in Norway, their existence, we feel, are proof of an ancient drilling technology, far superior to our own today, let alone our recent ancestors. How were these holes created, or indeed why? A number of these particular drill holes can be found within Volda, and a number have also been discovered within the surrounding area of Flint County Quarry, Massachusetts, although, interestingly, each slightly different in shape. Are these seemingly impossible drill holes evidence left by a lost civilization? Intriguingly, when the star holes occur, they only cover part of the total length of that particular hole, the remainder of the hole still having the typical round cylindrical shape. However, mysteriously, 
The length of the rifled grooves and their position within the hole varies considerably with each drill hole, sometimes even occurring midway through a rock. Ancient star holes, an as yet unexplained ancient feature, which we find highly compelling. Just how old is human civilization? It should be clear to anyone who has spent any length of time perusing our channel that the majority of our antiquity, no matter how astonishing, is, according to modern academia, all built by our less capable ancestors, placed considerably more recently within human history. During our extensive research, we have often unearthed overwhelming evidence for an immensely larger human timeline. Additionally, we feel there is strong evidence to suggest that more than one period of prosperity has been experienced in the past. We have realized that this record of past global inhabitancy is merely limited to its resistance to erosion. Put another way, there appears that many past civilizations have come and gone, going back beyond what is now still in existence. The human species, it seems, has outlived the existence of our oldest ruins here on Earth. Many ruins we have explored are now argued as geological formations. This authoritative subjection is merely testament to their immense age, and also begs the question what other ruins may have been lost to erosion. How much older does human civilization actually reach back in time? And just how advanced have past civilizations become? One clue to this answer lays within the ruins themselves. Astonishing feats of engineering that not only indicate a high level of intelligence, but also technological prowess. Extraordinarily refined works, which can still be found in the less inhospitable environments of Earth. One of these lesser shared sites is undoubtedly Varangal. Located within the South Indian state of Telangana, it was predictably once snapped up by our less capable ancestors, possibly claimed as their own, subsequently becoming their capital. Home of the Kakatiya dynasty from the 12th to 14th centuries, this inhabitation, we feel, has then been used regardless of the ancient ruins in question to age the stone carvings which can be found at the site. Stone monuments carved with such accuracy, skill, and precision that they evade any logical explanation as to how they could have been completed with any of the technologies we know were available to the Kakatians, specifically within the 12th century. The site clearly demonstrates tremendous skill and also technological prowess. These stone monuments were clearly not only created to express an artistic message, but they were undoubtedly created to display the creator's capabilities, encapsulated in time, quite possibly for the exact purpose of people like us to recognize them, as they may have with similar ruins that were possibly in existence during their own lifetimes. There is a greatly more interesting and extensively larger story to tell regarding the history of our planet. However, as long as those in power feel inadequate simply saying, we don't know, ignorance and lies will continue to plague our species.